Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next base destruction video. This is a Town Hall 9 base. Gonna be a relatively quick video. I actually only have two attacks to show, but I think it's gonna be an interesting point to make. And I think you guys will enjoy it, at least you Town Hall 9s. Um, this base actually survived the first two attacks. It took three ta uh, three attacks to three star. I'm just not gonna show the uh, the middle one, the second attack, because the queen walk, uh, the queen died right at the beginning. It just doesn't really, it's not relevant to the development of the three star. It wasn't kind of based off the first plan or anything. So it's really not worth showing. Just gonna look at the first one and the second one. Similar plans, but different. Talk about why, um, why the different plan works. Let's go ahead and draw in um, where the Teslas are. We have a Tesla like right here, a Tesla right here. Um, draw it like that. A Tesla over in this area up here around there and then a Tesla here. So kind of these four Teslas all around the bottom here, I think trying to just be kind of tricky, um, unpredictable, interesting base here. One thing you'll notice, um, actually the CC I should also talk about, the CC has Baby Dragon and the rest are goblins, um, just for what it's worth. Giant bombs aren't that important, these are two air attacks, so they're kind of in the middle here, but they're pretty much negligible for the most part. So um, you'll notice these four air defenses and the queen too, all pretty accessible, they're not too spread out. That's why you should think air. I mean, a ground attack probably could work on this base, but there's no point, because an air is gonna be more reliable. You have the four air defenses, you wanna do a heavy invasive attack, get in there, get those four air defenses, get the queen, and uh, do a little bit lighter um, on the balloons, maybe only one hound, or maybe, I don't know, some, some way to do less balloons, less air, more ground, because everything, the expos, the air sweepers, everything is right there for you. It's just served up on a platter. However, the first attacker tries to take advantage of that, but doesn't quite get the job done. Let's talk about why. Basically, he's coming from this side uh, with a three golem, a stoned, uh, Stoned attack, three golems, has the bowlers also in the CC, so very heavy on the kill squad. Doesn't even have a lava hound. He has two jumps. I believe he jumps here and he jumps right here. Basically, he wants to get all four air defenses, the CC, the queen, and all those bonus expos and sweepers and stuff in the area, which is a good plan, but the angle he's coming from isn't the best for that plan. Um, first of all, the Teslas are kind of distracting for the golems. I think this might be intentional by the defender. They kind of lead the golems off. Actually, all three golems do go inside the base. That was a concern. It didn't actually end up being a big deal. Um, but the, the bigger problem on this attack was how these compartments are laid out. You'll see that they are they're wide this way, wide there, wide there. This one's relatively wide. Even these two, they're wide. You want to attack parallel, not perpendicular to the compartments, typically when you're coming with a kill squad. That way your troops don't spread out as much. If he came from an angle more like this, you can see how everything is more contained. Uh, these walls contain them. These walls would contain them. If he drops the jump right here, um, they're more contained on these boundaries. The way um, the first attacker, I forget who it is, the way he comes in, there's so much room for his stuff to spread out. They spread out, they don't get deep enough, they don't get this last air defense. As a result, he doesn't have a lava hound, the balloons go down, doesn't get the job done. So we'll talk about the change that was made, but let's first take a look at the attack. I'm actually not gonna edit this video. Um, it's just gonna make it so much faster. You guys are gonna have to wait for like 10 seconds uh, for me to pull this one up real quick, so I apologize for that. Um, go into details. My team, and it's down at 27. We have our first attack, legendary. Let's take a look at the plan and talk it out. Okay, times four until he starts at the three minute mark. Right here, coming in with the golems. Of course, this is the first attack, so he does not know there's Teslas th there. A um, little bit of a curveball for him, but uh, luckily, the Teslas actually don't draw the golems too far away, and they end up all entering the base. So. They're doing the tanking, not that big of a deal. Right there, the baby dragon trips the Teslas up top, but gets it taken care of. The funnel's pretty good. Um, here come the heroes, here come the bowlers. All three golems going back for the jump, so things are looking up for him, but you'll see just things start to spread out. They don't go into the base in one coherent push. The bowlers, the golems, whatever it is, they're just not gonna get deep enough to get this air defense. I think the queen does go down, um, so the queen's a little easier to take out because she actually aggros and runs towards the troops, whereas that air defense just sits back 
and uh, you can see the queen already getting off track a little bit going up top towards the Tesla there uh, so it doesn't have the queen everything else still pretty much on track but the queen is important for something so deep into the base like that starting in with a few balloons which is good but right here things are spreading out they're coming down here towards the king and the expo they're also going up towards the storage and the cannon so uh, actually also um, because the queen is not with the kill squad that baby dragon in the CC does some work on his uh, golems and king and bowlers and everything while they're defenseless. Um, and as, as a result, uh, his kill squad doesn't get deep enough. The queen stuck back here. The balloons are coming in, but there's just no hope. There's a lot of air traps. He would have needed the kill squad to get deeper, to be distracting these defenses, and to have gotten that all-important air defense. It actually isn't even that close at the end, unfortunately, because um, the queen will go down eventually, and the balloons can't do much uh, with that air defense and some of those traps. So, nice try. I think it was good he identified the first four air defenses, but let's take a look at a better plan given this base. Um, this is pretty much it. Those wizards go down, and it goes up to about 90% right here. Okay, that'll do it. Let's hop back over into you doodle. Um, put the Tesla's back. There we go. Okay, so you can see here a better plan, in my opinion, and it worked out, so I guess it's tested, is a queen walk and a queen charge, I should say, a queen charge specifically. The reason for that is unlike the golem-based kill squad, the queen walk is much easier to direct into this base into the right place and you might think well okay if you come with the queen at the same angle she she could go all over the place it's the same problem actually it's not the way he does it um, he starts the queen this is tornado top hat i believe starts the queen right here um, wall breakers are in right about here so she comes into the first compartment takes this out starts walking this way now there's nothing up here to distract her she's going south for sure uh, i think he funnels a little bit down here drops a jump right here for the queen so we have something that we don't see much but drops the jump which i think was a great investment that way he knows um, even if she comes down to take these out she'll eventually pinball up here step up get the important stuff like the defensive queen i believe she aggros her these three air defenses, the Expos, the Sweepers, has to invest a number of spells plus her ability uh, throughout the mix, but um, it's worth it. It's much less troop space, only f I think four or five healers, which is much less than the Golems, the Bowlers, and the Kill Squad. Uh, just all that, that huge investment. It's much less. It's a little bit more in terms of spells, or about the same in terms of spells. Both require a lot of spells, but this requires much less troop space as a result. He is able to bring a Lava Hound for that air defense, at least one, I think. Yeah, he has at least one Lava Hound, some balloons, and some minions. That's something we're seeing that's new. People bringing, I think he has like up to 20 minions. Uh, and I think the idea there is there's not a whole lot of splash damage. So even if the balloons peter out, the pups combined with the minions are typically able to get in there and do some damage as well in kind of a second wave of air. Also, they can take out the uh, skeletons. They're more efficient in cleanup. Also, keep in mind, he doesn't have a lot of time. So the minions are a great complement to the queen walk because the queen eats up a lot of time. So you need to make sure your air part moves quickly through the base. The minions ensure that cleanup happens uh, right from the get-go if you drop those minions right behind the balloons. So let's take a look at uh, the attack and we'll wrap this video up. Okie dokie, back into the war. Here we go, down to 25, we have Tornado Top Hat. Okay, fast forward to the start here. Uh, just a balloon luring out the uh, baby dragon. I think it's interesting he decided to deal with the CC in phases, kind of. Because um, I think he knew he would have to deal with the goblins eventually. Because uh, the queen probably will aggro them, but... Uh, doesn't lure out the goblins. Right there, he had to pop the ability, got pretty close. I like the idea. I think um, maybe like a, a wizard to help take out the baby dragon would have been worth it because that four troop space is definitely worth it to save the queen's ability. So if you know it's gonna be close, drop a wizard, drop some minions, whatever you need. 
Make sure that baby dragon goes down a little bit quicker. Same thing goes for dropping a Valk if there's a bunch of goblins or something. Those are good ways to uh, to save a rage or save the ability just for a small investment in troop space. So right here, the first rage, like I said, I'm just going to come in here, take out the top first so the pathing is very predictable. She'll come down south. That's how the king was used. I forgot to mention that. He gets a few Teslas. He tanks. The wizards behind him also get some buildings while he's tanking. Uh, the funnel is great that way. Jump spell goes down. Queen has nowhere else to go. She'll step up. There are both expos on her, so he'll have to uh, to use that rage uh, in just a moment here. Doesn't have the ability, remember. Drops the rage down right here. Good timing on it. She steps up, takes out these expos. The king actually got some great value. Went pretty far around the base. Got like a wizard tower and a archer tower. Or the wizards behind him did at least. So here's the queen. Stepped up taking out the last of this uh, point defense. From here, she's going to be up for the entire attack, pretty much. She'll come down south, and I think I think she takes the queen out. Maybe not. I might have, uh, have gotten that part wrong. She will step up through the wall eventually, but here comes two Lava Hounds. Like I said, much less troop investment for those healers. So has two Lava Hounds, uh, roughly 11, 12 balloons, and all these minions. The minions also can help with the queen, of course. The minions are just a good all-around play if you have the troop space for time, for uh, taking out the skelly traps, for taking out the queen if needed. That rage kind of sits back. Um, he drops the rage kind of late, but that was intentional. Gives the balloons a burst, but also gives the pups some help taking out the queen. Uh, regardless, his queen probably would have stepped up. Uh, actually, the goblins do take her out, but the minions were there, I think, as kind of a security measure, making sure the queen was going to go down at some point uh, because his own queen did actually go down to those goblins in the CC. Uh, maybe he was hoping the queen wouldn't trigger those, but really, this attack was uh, pretty uh, smooth. Wasn't that close if you look at how much stuff he actually had left up. So very nice stuff at Tornado Top Hat. I guess the lesson here, guys, is sometimes the big kill squads don't work as well. When you see those compartments are very uh, perpendicular to your area of entry, if there's a lot of space, they can roam off to the side. It's unpredictable. The queen walk is um, it can be unpredictable too, but if you're able to plan it out right, you can make a nice funnel, make sure your queen goes in instead to get those central air defenses, and that way you'll uh, use less troop space and have a little bit more predictability. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.